In this box is the new telescope I've bought and it is the Edge HD by Celestron. I've been wanting one of these telescopes for a very long time and it has arrived today. I'm so excited to open the box and see what's inside. Now I'm working with limited space up here on my desk but I'm going to put the box down and show you what's in it piece by piece. Now one of the first things you're going to find inside the box is the instruction manual and the paperwork for all the telescope. If I open it up you just get some important notices, some more documentation and a full instruction manual that's pretty thick. Now, the first bit of equipment that I've pulled out here is the Celestron Star Diagonal. And this is just what you would use to put eyepieces in to create a 90 degree angle. This is so when you're bent over the telescope, you get a much easier view on your neck and it's much more natural to look through a star diagonal as it would be if you were just looking through the rear of the telescope itself. You can see it comes nicely bagged by just Open it up. Now this diagonal is only one and a quarter inch, so it's not the best, and they do recommend you upgrade to a two inch star diagonal if you're really gonna be using this telescope for visual astronomy. Next, we have the 50 mil finder scope by Celestron as well. And now it comes in the same type of packaging, and this is a pretty basic finder scope that you'd find on a lot of telescopes just like this. It's nothing special and it does the job pretty well. And as you can see, it's a nine by 50. So you won't have any problems looking through this, trying to find your targets. And it really helps out, especially when the Edge HD is at the focal length of over 2000 millimeters. If you're doing visual astronomy and you're not using a camera and you're not gonna be plate solving, you're gonna need one of these. And this is a pretty good one. Now the telescope comes really nicely packaged and secure these big custom foam inserts so you won't have to worry about this thing traveling and getting delivered to you it's going to be pretty safe in some of these and also they make a really good storage once you've got the box and you can keep it at home so just below that packaging i found an extra box and inside here is the mounting system for the guide scope and finder scope and it's really just a simple ring base system that attaches to the top of the edge hd It feels really solid, actually, but I have heard it's got a very unique mounting bracket, which makes it not very versatile with using it on other telescopes, and it's pretty much just for the Edge HD, I believe. Now, I believe this is the last bit of equipment and box to open before I get to the telescope itself, and this is just a basic 40 millimeter eyepiece. Unfortunately, the telescope only comes with one eyepiece, and if I just open it up here, You'll see that it's a pretty good basic Celestron eyepiece that's going to do a pretty good job. Not the best, not the worst. Now it feels weird for me holding an eyepiece like this. I've been doing astrophotography for years and it shocks people when I tell them I've only looked for a telescope a handful of times in my life. I normally end up just sticking a camera on so it's going to be really nice to test this out when I get the telescope all up and running. Now, there's just one more custom foam insert to take out before the telescope comes out of the box. Now, I'm holding the Edge HD, finally. It's actually not as heavy as I was expecting it to be, but it's looking good. It's nicely packaged. It's got foam around the sensor just to keep it from getting scratches and that while it's in transport. So I'm gonna open it up and see what it's gonna be like.
Now the reason why I bought this telescope is because I have a wide field setup, I have a mid-range field setup, and I really wanted a deep, deep sky setup, and the Edge HD just seemed to tick all the boxes when it came to going deep in space without breaking the budget. Now this has been my unboxing of the Edge HD telescope. I hope you enjoyed this really short video. There's not really much to say when you're unboxing the telescope. I can't comment on what the telescope's like because I haven't used it yet, but I'm really looking forward to taking this telescope out and seeing what it can really do.